today I'm going to show you on the Lexus RCF, Lexus's second fastest production car behind the LC500. The base model comes in around $64,000 with the model we're driving today a little over $81,000 because of all the packages it has. My favorite is the performance package which gives you the carbon fiber roof, the carbon fiber wing, as well as the torque vectoring differential. The RCF comes with a naturally aspirated 5 liter V8 which, pushing 467 horsepower, puts it right at home with the rest of the cars in its class, like the Mercedes-Benz 63 AMG, as well as the BMW M4. As with any Lexus, the RCF has fantastic build quality and a really quiet cabin. So, if you opt for the Mark Levinson speaker package, you'll end up with 17 speakers pushing 835 watts of power, but what's really nice is the only thing you're gonna hear is your speakers, not any rattling panels, even with that much bass. Once inside the car, you'll notice the leather racing seats. I spent three hours driving one day and felt absolutely no discomfort. You can't even say that for a lot of normal seats, and these are racing seats. Even better, these are heated and cooled. Uh, so with the really hot Texas summers we see here, I've already really been enjoying the cooled seats. The carbon fiber roof's amazing, but because it's black, it generates a lot of heat, so they go a long way in cooling the car down quickly. So looking back at the back seats, they're a little bit tight for me at six foot three and 195 pounds, but that's to be expected with a two-door coupe. A couple months ago, I got to take another RCF out onto the F1 Coda track here in Austin, Texas and spend most of the day out there. I got to strap a couple 360 cameras to both the hood as well as the interior of the car so you get a couple different views, can actually see what it's like to be out there on the track, and you get to see the RCF driving a bit more aggressive than I'm legally able to today. I'll put the link below once it's ready, you can check it out. This car has four different drive settings that come standard on all RCFs, as well as an additional three that come with the torque vectoring differential. The four different driving settings are Eco, Standard, Sport, and Sport Plus. Now what I really enjoy is Sport Plus mode, which is what I like to leave it in most of the time. Uh, and when you put it in that, the car just comes alive. You can hear the difference the second you do it. The car now makes aggressive downshifts when braking. It holds the car at a much higher RPM and changes the way the suspension, traction, and stability control work. There's another secret mode called Expert that turns off all traction control, and that allows the car to drift if that's what you're looking to do. It also changes the ABS, so if you end up jumping the car and taking the wheels off the ground, it tells the ABS not to reduce power when you land. So now back to the torque vectoring differential. What's really cool is it allows the car to put 100% of the torque at either wheel in under a thousandth of a second. There's even a cool monitor that you can check it out on the dash and it'll show you how much torque is going to each wheel. The only problem with that is if you're using that and you're cornering, you're probably not going to be looking down to be able to see it. So although that it's a cool feature, you're probably not going to use it much. If you're looking to use the RCF as your daily driver, which I highly recommend, there's a host of features to make your commute comfortable. One of my favorite is the dynamic radar cruise control, which will automatically slow down and speed up with traffic. So here in Austin, where we have a bunch of traffic and I've been stuck in it before, this allows you to not have to constantly work the brake and gas to keep up with people. It automatically sets how far you want to stay away from the car in front of you, and it'll keep that all the way to a stop. That alone really improves the commute. Another nice touch if you live in Austin, Texas, is that Lexus of Austin and Lexus of Lakeway provide free car washes as well as complimentary espresso bar in both of their locations. So if you're like me and you either work for yourself or work from home and you like to work out of various coffee shops, it works out really well because I can stop in, drop my car off to get clean, and then sit there and drink and eat for free while I get my work done. So it's, it's pretty convenient. The top speed of the RCF is limited to 168 miles an hour by the ECU, and it gets from 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Now, that's not quite as fast in a straight line as some of its competitors, but that's also not the main selling point of this car. Why I love this car is it's an incredibly comfortable daily driver, with the push of a couple buttons becomes a beast that puts a childlike grin on my face from ear to ear. I don't like to see cars stuck in a garage, and this one gives you no reason to leave it at home. If you like this video, click like and let me know below in the comments section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I release the next car video.